everybody has their own style. And in the same way, everybody has their own learning style. Some people might find one method effective, whereas the same method will be useless for somebody else. Some people love grammar books, whereas other people find them useless. If that's you, if you find grammar rules scary and intimidating, I have a language learning method just for you. The lexical approach. In this video we will look at what the lexical approach involves and how to use it to improve your business English skills. The lexical approach, or the lexical method, sees vocabulary and phrases as the building blocks of language. It recognises that language is primarily built with collocations, phrases and fixed expressions, rather than just grammar rules. So instead of looking at grammar, the lexical approach focuses on these phrases, or as it calls, chunks of language. And it presents these chunks in meaningful contexts. And it's a method which has been proven to work. In fact, you have already used this method. Because it's how we all learn to speak, when we're babies. When you were a baby, you didn't read grammar books or look at conjugation tables. You just listened to phrases saw them in context to find the meaning, and remembered them. So these building blocks or chunks of language are phrases which you can hear in everyday English. For example, by the way, if I were you, a long way off, there are so many. The grammar word for these things is collocations, and collocations are when words go together, not because of grammar, just because they do. And this is really an argument for the lexical approach, because grammar can't tell you everything, right? Learning, Learning with, with the, the lexical, lexical approach. approach! One key way you can use the lexical approach to learn or improve your English is by noticing phrases, noticing what context they are used in, and then taking them out of that context, trying to use them in your own context, trying to find other examples of how to use these phrases or chunks. For example, if you hear, it's only May, Christmas is a long way off. You might notice that phrase, a long way off. And then you can try and make up your own examples, such as, let's not worry too much about what will be in the presentation because the conference is a long way off. I should start collecting the data now because the report deadline isn't a long way off. Something else you can do when you find a new phrase is to put it into Google or any other search engine. But make sure you search it with quotation marks. When you do this, the search looks for those words only when they are exactly how they are written next to each other. Then you will find lots of examples of that phrase in different contexts. And here's an extra tip to make it a bit more easy or interesting. Search it within the news feature. That way, all of the contexts you will find will be things which are in the news right now. Maybe things that you recognise from seeing or reading the news and you will know the context already. Or you might learn something which is very relevant, very current, and you will see that phrase in that context. Learning, Learning grammar! grammar. Without, Without grammar. grammar! If learning how to use, for example, different tenses makes you feel overwhelmed and like you're just drowning in grammar rules, instead, use the lexical approach. Don't learn what is and how to use the present perfect continuous tense. Just identify have been doing as a lexical chunk. Notice how people use have been doing have been working, has been going. Look at the contexts surrounding that phrase wherever you find them and try to use them in your own contexts. Like I already said, you know, think of your own examples, things which are relevant to you. You, not me, you. Building, Building English, English vocabulary, vocabulary for your work. work. To use the lexical method for improving your English at work, it's important to build a robust business vocabulary. Mastering common workplace vocabulary 
will make your English appear more fluent. Not just appear more fluent, it will make it be more fluent. For example, phrases like conduct research, close a deal, make a decision are all used very commonly in business English. It's noticing these chunks which will make them stick in your head. The first time you hear close a deal or close the deal, you might not notice it, but the second or third time it comes up, your brain will go, ah, there it is again. I've heard that before. It must be a phrase. It's a lexical chunk. And it's useless to ask, why isn't it make a deal? Why not finish the deal? How about end the deal? Complete the deal? Just accept that the phrase you hear most is the lexical chunk. It is the commonly accepted phrase. It's the phrase native English speakers use. Building, Building industry-specific industry vocabulary. vocabulary. To improve your English for your specific job, start noticing lexical chunk specific to your field or to your expertise. For example, in marketing, it's essential to grasp concepts and chunks such as target audience, brand positioning, or competitive analysis. Utilize resources such as journal articles or blogs or websites about your industry to find these lexical chunks. Look for YouTube channels or listen to podcasts which focus on your industry. And don't worry if the level is a little bit too high for you to follow everything. You will catch some things and after a while, when these lexical chunks come back time and time again, you will start to notice these lexical chunks. Idiomatic, Idiomatic expressions. expressions Idiomatic expressions add depth or colour to language, but they can be challenging for non-native English speakers. And the lexical approach is really the only way to learn these idiomatic phrases, idiomatic expressions, idioms. So again, just notice, try to remember idioms which are commonly used in a business English context. Examples like to think outside the box, cutting edge technology, or let's get the ball rolling. Again, you can find these on business focused podcasts, YouTube channels, or blogs, or news articles. And we actually cover a lot of these on the four words linked in YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok pages. So if you follow us on these pages, you will regularly get lexical chunks in the form of phrases or idioms, which you will see on our channel and maybe notice them out in your English speaking world. And you'll hear them again and go, ah, yes, I know that one. And you'll hear it in a different context and hopefully be able to begin using it yourself. Contextual learning. In this video, I've already suggested lots of sources to find your lexical chunks. And this is because in the lexical approach, context is key. Engaging with authentic English materials makes sure that the language you're learning is authentic, that it is used in the context that you are also going to use it in. Real life situations, because you're going to use English in your real life. So there you go, the lexical approach. Maybe you found some interesting lexical chunks in this video, or maybe you could follow us here at Four Words and find lexical chunks in many of our other English communication skills building videos. See you next time.